Well, it's my great honor to be here with my guru, uh, Dr. Devi Shetty, who not only rev revolutionized cardiac care in India, he revolutionized it for the entire world. But I'm specifically interested in your vision of where healthcare is going, and you're always talking about the role of technology, but also the human side of that. Can you give me a glimpse of <laughs> where you see things going? Yeah, and it's all about uh why you want to do it, why healthcare is very important, uh, why we need to do something. You know, like as I explained earlier, I'm a heart surgeon and I see a large number of 60 to 80 patients every day Maybe. in my clinic. And I do at least one or two heart surgeries and a typical patient of mine is a little baby on the mother's lap. After examining the kid, when I tell the mother that, look, your baby has a hole in the heart, he needs an operation. She has only one question, how much is it going to cost? And if I tell her that it's going to cost you $1,000, which she doesn't have, that is a price tag on that kid's Gosh. life. This is what I do. This is what every doctor in developing countries do from morning till evening, putting price tag on human life. This is the greatest human right violation. It can't go on. Something has to be done. And there are tools available to make it happen. So how are we going to make this happen? Because it's very touching what you say. And I, you know, being here in India, you can see it around you. But I also seen visiting one of your 23 hospitals and specialized uh, clinics and primary care centers. You clearly have a vision of what can be done. I'll give an example. 14 years ago, we launched a health insurance with 11 cents yeah. per month. 11 cents. 11 cents per. That's, that's a premium. That's less than a packet of cigarettes. Cigarette, yes. We told the farmers, don't smoke for a day okay. and buy the health insurance. And we network with 400 hospitals. And at the end of 12 years, 1.4 million farmers had varieties of surgeries. Yeah. And 130,000, 150,000 farmers had a heart operation just by paying 11 cents per month. So if we have close to 900 million mobile phone subscribers who spend at least 150 to 200 rupees per month just to speak on a mobile phone. If we can collect 30 rupees from each mobile phone subscriber, we can pay for the healthcare. You can pay for it, but then only if that healthcare is extremely efficient and you're also constrained in terms of num number and doctors and nurses, but I think you're also looking for solutions to deal with those constraints. Yaran, digital health will disrupt this industry completely. I have no doubt that the smart software will make smarter diagnosis than doctors in the next five years and in next 10 years, within 10 years, it will become legally mandatory for us doctors to get the second opinion from the software before starting the treatment. Healthcare will become safer, it will become affordable, it will become accessible once you digitize healthcare. And that is what is desperately required. Do you think that will happen in a country like India first? Because you, you have the medical knowledge here. You have a lot of expertise in running highly efficient Six Sigma lean hospitals. But you also have the, the information technology expertise here. Do you believe that, that India may ultimately leapfrog in this? I have no doubt that India will spearhead mainly because of the acute shortage of medical yeah. specialists in tier two, tier three cities where nearly 60% of the country's population live. I'll give an example. We have 70 million diabetics and 600 diabetologists. Yeah. Only way you will be able to manage the diabetes is online. Yeah, so that means you give patients the tools to control, but you also virtualize care. Then. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Well, that's, that's definitely a vision that we share. And uh, you also have the skill here in India, so you can collect data. And we all know that these systems become smarter as you feed more and more annotated data. Is yes. that uh, another perspective that you Exactly. See? The, you see, the, when you are dealing with the infinite components to come up with a decision, human beings are much better than machines. But when there is finite data, yeah. like in healthcare, yeah. 
Machine is smarter than human beings, especially you put in a time yeah. that you have to make the diagnosis in five ten minutes, minutes or ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. Machine is always better than us. Okay. Well, again, it's a real honor discussing it with you, but also giving you your input to us. And we definitely are marching in that direction. And we will continue to listen to you and get your guidance. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. It's my privilege. Thank you. Thanks.